John the Baptist was killed. He got his head chopped off because he speaked out against Herod's unlawful marriage. That's why John the Baptist was killed. That's what got him into trouble. He spoke out against an unlawful marriage, and we're living in a time when we've rejected the biblical view, God's view of marriage and sexuality. We've rejected the biblical view of sexuality in our time. If you stand up and say, hey, I don't buy into all of this stuff, you will be persecuted, condemned, you'll lose your job, you'll be canceled, whatever. This is a wicked generation. This is an evil generation. Now people will say, oh, you got to let go of your archaic belief system. Like, you know, we're in the whatever, the 21st century. Do you think this unbelieving generation who's bought into the atheism and the agnosticism and the ways of the world, do you think they're on their way to heaven? I don't think they are. And I'm not afraid to say it. In our politically correct world, we think everyone's going to heaven. Do whatever you want. Try to be a nice person. Everyone's going to heaven. Where does it say that in the Bible? What great saints of the church proclaim that, oh, everyone's going to heaven, you don't need to, to, to strive to, to be holy. That's never been said in the last 2,000 years. So why does everyone believe this today? Why do we no longer preach repentance? Believe the good news. That God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that you can have eternal life. Why do we not preach this anymore? You wonder why our young people don't go to church? Who's rising up to warn them? Save yourself from this corrupt generation. And so we need to pray that the Lord raise up his prophets and his saints in our time to proclaim the good news to everyone so that people can be saved.